So we went ahead and got a new curtain rod. Curtain's taken down the old ghetto version she used to hold the curtains on. The she had just a little nail and a wire. That's what she was using here for curtain rods. For her almost two years. So we picked up a nice cheap pretty curtain rod. We'll put that up to show you. In the meantime. Sorry guys, we went ahead and put one up. I forgot to turn the camera on. But we'll put the other one up. What we're doing is we're cheating. We don't want to keep drilling because it's all concrete here, hollow blocks, some of it's filled, some of it's not. So we bought these little stickers. You know, kind of like command hooks, but a little bit more generic, but they're really strong. That's strong maybe open. But this one is designed to hold a curtain rod. We got several different styles we bought the other day. Yikes. But this one's for the curtain rod. And the thing's over there having fun playing with it while I'm over here trying to work. You know how women are. another delivery. You guys are lucky. What I need to do is take off a piece of this blade so that I can use it up there. But a lot of people don't know is on most of these blades, I hope I'm at the right distance, you break them off to make a new one. But a lot of these actually have slots in them for you to do it with. Hey! Put it in there. Breaks. Now, normally it'll stay in here, but careful where you walk to step in because yeah, it fell. Mm -hmm. I think. Ah, here. I found it. Okay, I need that piece. Ah. And now I have a fresh tip. Although, this is a really, really cheap blade that we have, and it's not that good. Ah, that's the purpose of this. Yeah. So, I'm going to use this. A little piece. All right, so if you have crappy concrete construction from a developer that doesn't care, don't use those. Unless you've already got your wall painted or whatnot. Because what's happening is the poor construction is actually pulling the concrete off the wall from the. I want to show you something I really don't agree with that they do here. It's considered normal. Is they'll do a substandard job like this. Okay with gaps, holes, all in it. And then they just apply a skim coat, cover it up, and think it's all good. 
they think that's just as strong. But it's not. The skim coat falls off, it cracks, especially in earthquakes, and it's not as solid. Let me show you in the back. See? Poor job. And then they just skim coat it, and they think that the skim coat concrete will bond with the putty or mortar, whatever you want to call it. But it doesn't actually bond well. And it creates crevices and pathways for all the stupid ants and everything like that. Baby. So, Baby. we're going to go ahead and I'll put liquid nails on these. In a few minutes, I need to sit and rest. Um, if any of you know me yet, you know I hurt, so I have to do things in little amounts. So I'm going to sit, rest, I pick back up with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to use some liquid nails to do a few projects. Because it's not exactly that closable when you're done. So I've got to fix the little brackets on our little shoe thing. Of course, I've got to glue in the curtain rod. And then I've got a little piece separating over here. And a piece separating up there. And that'll use up my stuff. So, point this over here where you can see the most of it. And I'm going to get to work. My break is over. I don't know. If you've watched, you've seen my little mini sealer. Let me wipe it off. I don't want to get a whole bunch of mess on my seal. Some of this. Because I have a tiny bit of liquid nails left. Hi, it's my anniversary here today. We're living here. For... So it's sealed. We'll see if it stays dry. So. We actually waited about an hour for the stuff to dry, and the thinner one for the glue has set. It's basically a Philippine version of liquid nails. But the softer one where I had to put a whole bunch of it is still soft and pliable after an hour. So that still had that dry. But that adhesive is fully dried, it's strong, it's good. And we went ahead, put the curtain rod up, the curtains are on there. It'd be nice if it was a little further from the wall, but I didn't want to use the factory bracket because the thing loves changing her curtains so much. So, and I'm sorry about this more noise. Other people are doing some structure too. And that's the no means for you. Noise is noise. You got to deal with it until you get your houses closed in, or you put in air conditioners. You can block all the noise. You got to deal with it. So there we go. That's our finished curtain. Of course, my lovely wife has to learn to quit blocking the air with the curtains. <laughs> since we don't have an air conditioner, she's got to quit blocking the open windows. Otherwise, the Ding. air can't move. So, that one's done. You guys have a great day. That's one project down. We've got a whole bunch more to go, and hopefully you'll stay in the journey with us. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Something, please! Have fun. So. Just a little update. The one in there did harden. All right, so up here we had to use the original brackets because nothing's really sticking to this concrete. And then basically this version of wannabe liquid nails is not that good. So if you're looking for something in the Philippines like liquid nails, don't get it. Spend the money, get liquid nails. It works a lot better because we still have our shelf over there, which is hanging beautiful, lots of weight on it. They used the liquid nails. Look at that beautiful lady, resting, relaxing. Nice little rainy day. All right, but this is working. We should just do this in the first place. Use the originals. I'll just 
hoping to do something different. Did not work. We live and learn. We'll use those pieces for something else. But it's working on the foot thing. You guys have fun. Bye-bye.